Let's have a special beer with Marcel. What's up, world? What people went down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard. This is Marcel. And for the beer of the today... We've got a bottle of Innocent Gun Limited Edition Vintage Bottle Conditioned Oak Age Beer that was purchased roughly a year ago. So much hell yes. This was purchased pretty much a year ago and I set a reminder in my phone when I purchased it. I made a reference to it when I had an Innocent, an, an innocent Gun beer roughly a year ago. And I said I was going to age this for one year. This is the first beer that I've ever aged myself and figured might as well share it with my, my best friend over here and see Much what he thinks. And apparently, this is actually a 2015 edition of said beer. So this is like two years old now kind of thing. I don't know. It was matured for 100 days. Kind of along the lines of the... Uh, maple thistle beer that was had not that long ago either that not that long ago either as well it was uh matured for 150 days so i don't know what to expect from this at all the date on it says 16 december 20. so i'm assuming that's december 20th of 2016 when it had its technical best before date but it says on here you can age it well beyond that so this is going to be a thing i wish it that i wish i'd bought two bottles that's the only regret i have because then i would know what it would taste like originally. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's crack her open. Oh, that was quite the hiss. No, that's before December 2020. What's down there? So that's how long they're saying you can pretty much age it for. This is this is the wow. best before date to have it like fresh, I guess you'd say. And that's the best before date for aging. Chill so, on cold, pour and leave to settle for a moment. Yeah. The same both. Oh, swirl the beer? Yeah, yeah. Swirl, swirl. Anyway, we're going to pour these two small glasses. Let's see what we've got. I'm pretty sure these won't quite... These will be filled, but we won't use quite all the beer in here. And there will be enough to pour two Bottom of swirly the glasses. Not, not glasses, but two swirly kind of final drinks, as it were. Yeah, just... Oh... That was that was that was close. That's lots of head. That was close. Uh, we'll be back after a picture. It's actually pretty dark, kind of typical for most innocent gun beers. But I can do the whole pew 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 laser laser beam kind of thing with my light. Just a really 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 nice deep deep ruby red, and something I meant to do, something I'm going to start doing, is give you a nice little look at the bottle cap of the beer. That's the typical Innocent Gun bottle cap. I think it was upside down, but there you go. It does That's say right. what it is, though. Yeah. It says Oak Age Beer. Yeah. All Innocent Gun beer is Oak Age Beer. That's that's their thing. So this is their typical bottle cap, from what I've seen. But this is a special Oak Age Beer that I then aged for another year. Let's give her a smell. Ooh. I almost wish you would have aged it to 2020. Well, it's, it's a special edition thing, so I imagine. Well, the next one I, that you see. Yeah, the next one I see. Uh, the next one I see, I want to maybe buy like three. Mm -hmm. One to have right away, one to age for like two years, and then one to age like for maximum years. Five. Yeah, that would be cool. 2005. This smells. It smells nice, but it smells strong-ish. Yeah. What's the ABV on this stuff? This is uh It's not. On there, oh, it's on the front of seven point seven. Yeah. So this could be a little beyond seven point seven now with the aging. I'm not quite. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how that works. Two thousand fifteen. I'm not quite sure how aging and ABV kind of stuff works. I'm sure it's different with like every beer. But regardless, let's give this a shot, man. That's after the. Yeah. You always have to cheers first, bud. You're doing an ass by ass words. Wow. It's delicious. That is all kinds of just malty, 
the oak, like the Innocent Guns oakiness is in there. It's... That's a fucking good beer. Wow. Innocent Gun is one of those breweries that really... Like, the, the only one I can think of off the top of my head that I was... I, uh, which, again, was near to the beginning of my epic journey I'm on here right now. Mm-hmm. But I want to say it was their rum finish beer. Yeah, that would be weird. Didn't do it for me, but like I've had like a whiskey finished beer and a couple like bourbony beers by them, and almost every beer I've ever had by you guys is fantastic. And you, again, didn't disappoint. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and cheers, cheers Marcel. Again. Wow. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Like, really nice beer. How expensive was it? I want to say it was probably in the $10 range. Well, so that's not that so bad. So, it's not a big bottle. I, for $10, I'd hope to see it be in a bigger bottle. But, for what it is, I think it's it's done beautifully. Although, I'm not even 100% sure what it is. Let's see what we got here. On top, it says, This is a bottle-conditioned product containing live yeast, which makes it a livelier than a normal beer. It is best served chilled and poured into a glass tilted 45 degrees. Hope you enjoy drinking our vintage beer as much as we enjoyed making it. Excuse me. We used our own Innocent Gun Ale Malt to import a rich, well-balanced, malty backbone to the beer. This combined with a crystal malt, roasted barley, and a little and a little wheat for a creamy head. The super Syrian hops add a light bitterness and a gentle aromatic character which complement the flavor of the malt perfectly. Super Syrian? Is that, that's almost like... Super Saiyan? Yeah, that, that's remarkably close to that. It's pretty funny. We filled it, we filled it, we filled it in to first fill American bourbon casks and left it to mature over 100 days so the brew would mellow and take on lots of rich caramel and vanilla flavor from the wood. I'm getting that for sure. The casks also lend a creaminess to the beer so it becomes extra smooth and easy to drink over time. Uh-huh. Again, really nice mouthfeel to the beer. Bottle condition the beer with yeast, leaving a little sugar in the matured beer, means that over time the beer will develop and change, becoming richer and more complex the longer you leave it. Beer is crafted to be enjoyed on the day it's released, but because of the yeast, it will continue to condition well beyond its official best before date, hence the best before date he said. And this is probably the first Innocent Gun beer I've ever had. I'm pretty sure it wasn't on the one I had recently. It might have been though. But the ingredients are actually fully listed here. It doesn't just say, like, contains malt and barley. Malt is ING ale malt, crystal malt, roasted barley, and raw wheat. Hops are super Syrian. Styrian. It's Styrian, sorry. And it's got a bunch of other tasting notes and serving digestion and stuff. Innocent Gun, you, you, you went above and beyond with this beer. Yeah. Like, the creaminess of the head is oh, astonishing. It's just- the head retention. Wow. It's laced out my glass very nicely. It's, a, it's oh, yeah. Yeah, it just, it's. I just have to, I have to nurse it because I just want to gulp it down. It's just delicious. Like, there's like a chocolateness to it. Like the, the vanilla and butter, they have all this butterscotchy, caramelly, just, mmm. It's so good. Ridiculously good. Definitely one of those beers that I'm kind of sad about drinking because I can't just get another bottle of that. Oh. All right. Let's see what this is like. Check out that live yeast you put in there. Yeasty, yeasty. Oh, Oh, a little foam. I got some foam too. More of that delicious creamy head. It's thick. It is thick. Eat that with a spoon. Oh. Like imagine using like using that in like an ice cream float with like well, chocolate I'm, ice I'm cream thinking, or something. Because you can make beer ice cream. This would make some nice beer ice cream. Ooh. Very nice beer ice cream. Like it just. It's so nice. It's, it's so nice. All right, let's get through some of this stuff, which I, I didn't even do that. Jesus Christ. Innocentgun.com. 
Check them out. They're in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland. And like I said, it's, it's shocking to me how many beers from this Scottish brewery come over here. Like, I haven't seen a new one in a little while, but they're a, a good number of them for a brewery that's that far away. And they do it kind of right as far as exporting beer. Because, like, I've had, like, IPAs and stuff from over there. And they're almost any IPA I get from over there is, like, older. These, most beers that Innocent Gun makes are meant to be kind of, meant to age well for at least a little while. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a, uh, a good trait that I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see. And like I said, Innocent Gun very, very rarely disappoints. Their rating on Untapped for this is 3.88 out of 5, 617 ratings. So, like, I imagine it's just, they, they probably didn't make a whole lot of this beer. They only did 100, well, it said 100 days. It wasn't 100, that one was 150 barrels. The uh, Maple Thistle one, 150 barrels this, for 150 days. So it might have been a little bit more exclusive. I have no this idea. This is 183 barrels. There you go. See, look at that. And this is produced from. Good eye. See, just like Innocent Gun never fails to impress with their beer, Marcel, he never fails to impress when he's on a vlog. 87 overall, 96 for the style on rate beer. That is a pretty good uh, overall rating. 24 ratings were given to come to that conclusion. Beer Advocate, no overall score because not enough people. Nine ratings, 3.78 overall. Oh, someone said not a favorite. The smell hasn't really changed with the uh, addition of the bottom. I don't think the look hasn't really changed either. I can try this again. Might as well. If my flashlight will come on. Seriously, flashlight? Yeah, this is working well. What that? I'm abandoning all hope. Let's uh, try this yeastier portion of the beer. They have everything. I've already tried some. It's delicious. They, they have all the ingredients on their bottle in the back, too, here. A bunch of them. Also, pregnant women shouldn't drink it. This is true. Red Beer does not advocate pregnant women drinking beer, smoking cigarettes. Even though I'm sure that people did that in the past and humanity survived. They actually, not that I'm advocating for it, regardless. The alcohol thing... Not at all, but the smoking of cigarettes, the stress that it puts on the mother if she quits, especially you know, oh, if she's already a smoker yeah, and has it, to quit. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. Yes, if you if you find out, say it's not uncommon for a woman to find out two or three months into her pregnancy that she's she's indeed, pregnant, that she's pregnant. You know what I mean? Oh, it's been and she's know, already been smoking for that length and of time, and, and and she's like you know, and then the baby might already the fetus could be kind of addicted, and then the the there'd be a shock to the fetus as well, kind of shock to, to just stop. So, yeah, regardless, just... Cut just down. Don't don't be a smoker Yeah, kind of thing. Anyway, regardless, this beer is fantastic, and how about drink number last? Oh, for sure. Apologies if this vlog went on a little long, but this was, I don't know, just kind of... Nice little chill little vlog, why not? I, I've been doing a good job of keeping them pretty damn within that 10-minute mark. Occasionally... We can have one like this where we just sit, talk, and you can sit and watch and have a beer with us kind of thing. Anyway, Innocent Gun, your vintage, bottle-conditioned, limited edition, okay-aged beer. I didn't say it right that time. It, it, I, you can't even say it right. Like, see the label? I just... The, the beer that was in this thing right here, rating. That is a solid, like, nine and a half. It wasn't like mind-blowingly delicious, in my opinion. It was really good, but I don't know. It was. It was. You could tell it was a stronger kind of ABV style beer. It's actually trying to attack me right now, but it was delicious. Might I ask and where the half comes off? That's what I'm saying right there. Just the the kind the of alcohol? the kind of alcoholic burn See, that so is a little bit there. Smell fantastic. 
view looked beautiful, laced my glass, the head was a nice fucking beautiful color. The taste, absolutely exquisite. The knot, it, it may have smelled more like alcohol than it tasted. It had a nice smooth bourbon barrel finish. It was 7% to start, so maybe we got it at 8 because it was 7.7 and it only went up a little bit. But you knew what they were. You knew what it was when you uh, opened it. You knew it was already at seven percent. You knew it was gonna have somewhat of a little bit of a, that flavor. No, I didn't expect. I didn't expect the, the kind of burn that I got. Oh, there, really? There's, there's, eh? there's a bit of an alcohol burn there that I oh. didn't really expect. So that that's like that's it's fucking that's fantastic. the only reason that I'm giving anything like, off. The bottle, the packaging. Oh, that's, absolutely through the roof. Again, the only thing negative I could say about that beer in my mouth's opinion. This is my opinion. I know. You're welcome to have your own opinion. He has his opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. It's it's my channel. It's my opinion. I'm not any kind of professional beer anything. This is me on a journey that thank you so much for joining me on the journey. And regardless, Marcel, your opinion. Your rating. I already told you it was a 10. Did you say 10? Yeah. I didn't hear you say 10. I just heard oh, no, I, I, My opinion is a solid 10. That's okay. why I asked okay. where, where, where that okay. half point came off. No. Because I, I can't think of what they could have done better. If it would have been less alcohol content, I don't think I would have liked it. I like that little burn and the taste of the thick, rich head. No, I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay with the, the high ABV. I just, like, most of the beers that I've had by Innocent Gun that have a higher ABV haven't had that, that burn. Like I said, this is the first aged one I've had, so that... There's a good chance that might have something to do with it. Well, if it was fresh, it might have been a little bit more smooth for my, for me. But regardless, it was fantastic. I loved it. He loved it a tiny bit more. And again, apologies for the length of the vlog because it's been like five minutes since I said that because we just keep rambling on and on and on. We're having a good time here, and I hope that you had a good time watching. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for watching if you made it this far. If you liked the video, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got something to say to me or something to say to him, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A Peace out! Peace! Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was good though. Yeah, yeah. I I forgot about what you s said about the uh, the new kind of rating system you want to start implementing there. And